dear me, or rather, dear Mia. My past self, that seventh grader who didn't really understand what it meant to feel love. God, you hardly probably recognize, you probably hardly recognize yourself at this point. I've grown so much since you. It will get better. It most definitely will get better. Those days that you're walking through the hallway, these kids jeering in your ear, saying you're lying about your boyfriend, saying your face looks like a mouse, calling you buck to fear, all those things that happened to you then. It will get better. You'll transfer schools twice, technically, because you'll graduate before you, it before very long in that school. It will get better. Kids will stop bullying you, or even if they do, you won't care. Because you'll have a group of amazing friends. Sure, freshman year will get hard, but honestly, you're going to end up making some really dumb mistakes. But despite that, you're going to be alright. And you're going to really learn about yourself in these next few years. You're going to realize that, honestly, you guys suck. <laughs> they, you realize that your sexuality is a lot more open than you once thought it was. That you realize that maybe guys aren't what you're looking for in your life. That perhaps you're not the only, your uncles aren't the only one who love people of the same gender, or is it cousins? Ah, uh, you can, you and I can hardly tell the difference at the time. It will get better. You'll end up at my point, and you'll have an amazing love for going on three years at this point. Unfortunately, you'll have to go through a lot to get to this point. It will get better, but it will, you'll have to go through a lot to get to this point. And even now, at this point, things are hard. You'll have to be going through a lot of really hard moments in your life. I know that this message isn't going to change anything in where you are, but it's always best to learn. Things are going to get better, but they're going to be so hard. They're going to be very hard. Like I said, freshman year, you're going to make a lot of dumb decisions. And you're going to lose a lot of people close to you throughout the years, including your cousin Dina, unexpectedly few days after one of the best conventions of your life. You're gonna lose Pepper. I know you're like, oh, she's just a cat, but you're gonna have gone so close to her at this point. At that point, you're going to, you're gonna really feel it. You're gonna have to go through a really tough relationship. 
come out stronger for it, but it's going to be hard. Being the mediator for your girlfriend and boyfriend. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard dealing with that first year without Dina. Really hard. Even now, I'm still dealing with it. And it's going to be hard losing your grandpa. Yes, you're going to end up losing grandpa Nicole. It's going to be hard. But you're going to make it. You're going to make it to this point. To 19 in 10 days. And you're going to realize that things are going to be okay. It may not feel like it. There are going to be points where you just lay awake in bed and wonder, why? Why am I here? Why does anybody listen to me? Why do I have all of this? I don't deserve it. But you're going to need to fight through those nights. As many as many as there are. I promise you that things are going to get better. Even if at this current moment it doesn't feel like things are going absolutely swimmingly. Even when you question getting out of bed in the morning. Things are going to get better. But you need to work towards it. When you get to this point, you're going to have so many friends. You may not think it now because you only have Miranda and Abby and maybe Emily on a good day. But they will. You're going to meet some wonderful people at Girl Scout camp. You're going to meet some wonderful people at your new school. Even if some of them you don't end up being friends with up until the end. You're going to meet some wonderful people when you go to high school. Hell, you meet the girl of your dreams. And things are going to be okay. You're even going to meet some people who don't live anywhere near you. Because the internet, <laughs> surprisingly. You're going to meet a lot of amazing people. These names aren't going to mean anything to you right now, but they will once you get to filming this. You can meet such wonderful people like Sean, Andreas, Abby, Gypsy, Disney, Minto. Sci-Fi, Otaku, Denise, Mia, Star, Ninja, all of these wonderful people you're going to meet. And they're going to like you. And though you feel like you don't have anybody in your life right now, you will. I swear you will. So seventh grade me, seventh grade Mia, you just, you just gotta keep fighting. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. So, I wish you good luck in your next few years, especially since they're going to be very, very hard. And. I bid you good titles, and good luck, your future self. That was completely unedited, completely shot in one take, as you could tell from a lot of the long pauses, and I hope you all enjoyed this 
it's not normally what I post on here, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Thank you for watching.